Hello fellow Sudokans and welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Saturday the 2nd of November 2024. I'm rather later than expected playing this game of Sudoku. This is the Guardian's expert level Sudoku Puzzle. That I will be playing in a moment. Um, I've, I, I woke up late because I um, woke up in the middle of the night a couple of times again. Um, that's I think because I haven't had any swimming for the last three days, so uh, hopefully I'm going to get some exercise in today, which will, make me, which will make me tired enough to sleep through the night tonight. Anyway, that being said, I thought I'd tell you about my breakfast. Why am I going to tell you about my breakfast? Well, people only, we should only really comment on food when it's something unusual, don't you think? Uh, I've just had something that is definitely unusual for me, <laughs> but was once a familiar treat. I've just had for breakfast. I've just had egg chips. That means French fries for Americans and beans, baked beans, <laughs> a staple of the 1970s childhood. <laughs> but uh, something I almost never eat nowadays. I mean, I I'm lucky enough to live in Thailand where I have great Thai food. Three times a day, usually, um, but at least twice a day, I can have great Thai food uh, with wonderful flavors and fresh ingredients and stuff like that. <laughs> but the, the hideous egg chips and beans has resided in my memory, long term memory from a child. You know, English people through the 70s were destroyed, their palates were destroyed by <laughs> bad cooking. <laughs> it's a stereotype, but it's, you know, stereotypes are often based in fact. I'm afraid. Uh, um, the English and actually the British in general, maybe, uh, have been, uh, um, you know, badly treated by <laughs> bad cooking throughout the years of the 70s in particular. Uh, I think things started to get a bit better in the 80s <clears throat> with a lot more foreign food on offer and widening taste experience. So I, got, I think actually that happened in the late 70s. <clears throat> Certainly lots of uh, Indian food was available and Thai restaurants came along later. Chinese food has always been available, I suppose. Anyway, that's my breakfast. Uh, a bit of a surprise uh, in for those of you following the um, case of the lottery of uh, Elon Musk, his uh, what would appear to be illegal lottery system, which is basically, which looks to most people like a vote buying exercise. Um, a couple of days ago, he, they filed a, a local case against him and it was uh, moved to federal court. So probably like me, you thought, OK, that's the end of that. It will die and die of old age uh, after some time. And if he is by any chance convicted, of course, Trump will be, if Trump is elected and they're all relying on Trump to be elected, he will no doubt pardon him of any if, if he is ever uh, found guilty of anything. Musk, I mean, it's all prid, quid, prid quo pro. <laughs> I can't say it. <laughs> quid pro quo. Nah, it's too. Uh, it's. I've just had egg chips and beans. What do you expect? Uh, it, it, you know, with Trump, right? So we know there's a pardon in the offing for any of his cronies who do anything wrong. If he actually gets elected, let's hope that doesn't happen. Anyway, so uh, the appeal court has now just sent it back and said no. Uh, deal with it in, at the local level. So that was a surprise. I think nobody was expecting that. So I'm not sure how speedy or not this case will come. Of course, it, 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 they need to have some kind of injunction to stop it immediately while the court case is taking place, not let it continue on. Because the election is only a few days away now anyway. All right. Enough of thinking about Elon Musk. Ooh, it ruins my egg, chips and beans. Uh, let's have fives blocking across here, across here and down here, shall we, as our first digit. It looks a fairly sparse, um, sparsely filled grid today, so maybe the expert level is really going to give us an expert level today. It's possible. Sometimes with the Guardian it doesn't. When I say sometimes, I mean quite often, actually, but I'm trying to protect its reputation here a little bit. We've got four blocking across one of these three, in one of these three squares blocking across there. So that's going to give us a four there. Well, 
Well, <clears throat> I see 2 and 5 blocking this square, and I see 2 and 5 blocking this square, so that means that I've got a pair of 2 and 5 in those squares there. And it means that these have to be 1 and 3, so we've got 3 blocking down here. That's going to give me a 3 there, and it will give me a 1 in that square. Let's take a trip around first of all to try to get ourselves <coughs> sorted out um, and with any easy possibilities. Let's do that first. Let's not spend too much time. I just something that looks like it might be useful but is not seven two eight it is useful seven two eight ah oh, okay that is a triple set excuse me seven two and eight block this column here seven two and eight block across here so I've got seven two and eight in those squares there can't ha I don't have any idea which is which oh the eights go there sevens and the twos I'm not sure about but let's investigate the others squares shall we so here we're not looking for seven two or eight two seven eight we're looking for one three six nine one three six nine we got nines here ones there the threes and the sixes oh dear hmm that's a shame. I was hoping that was going to be more useful. All right, never mind. Where was I? What did I discover that with? Was it seven, was it? to the top here. <clears throat> well, we've got two and four across here, so we're going to get two and four in those squares. That puts twos over here, and for the fours, the same. Oh, OK, so we've got two and four across here, two and four in those squares, two, four blocking back, two, four blocking up here. So, in fact, we've got ourselves a pair of two and four in those squares. Uh, so these are not two or four. They have to be five, seven, nine. And we've got five blocking this square, five blocking this square. So here's our five. And we have seven and nine in these squares here. And not sure which is which. But anyway, let's take that five blocking down here, down here. There's a five. Five across this way, five down here for a five there. Uh, 
I didn't finish looking at this block. I discovered that the 2 and the 4 were here. I didn't consider these squares, which are 7 and 8. So we've got the 8 blocking up here. Here's our 8, here's our 7. 7 blocking down here, so 7 in one of these two squares blocking across. 7 across there, 7 down there. There goes our 7. Missing numbers in this column are 2, 3, and 4. We've got 2 and 4 together, so that's our 3. So now we've got 2, 4, 7 down here. That doesn't give us anything. I don't think so, anyway. <clears throat> Oh, hang on a minute. 2, 4, 2, 4, 2, 4, right? So we've actually got a unique rectangle, haven't we? Uh, I know this is 2, 4 because we've got 7 blocking there, right? So this is this should be 2, 4, 7 in these squares here, right? But we can't have 2 or 4 here because of our unique rectangle, so that's got to be a 7. So in fact, it did give me something. nine blocks this square so in this row here's our nine we can finish this row with a six uh, we know this is two and five don't we already because we worked it out before so this is going to be three eight nine we have a three we have a nine but that's about it okay <clears throat> so bottom is really done as much as I can do, as far as I can see anyway, for the moment. Uh, what else looks good up here? Anything? This we already know is 7 and 9 there. Not much I can do about that, I think. Uh, so we have 9 blocking this square, 9 blocking this square, and 9 blocking this square in this column. So that is our 9. Now we know that's going to be our 7. And we have 9 blocking this square, 9 blocking this square. So there's our 9 at the bottom. 9 looks like it's ripe for finishing. 9, 9, 9. Call the police. No, we're not there yet. Ah, oh, up here. 9, 9. There we are. 6 blocks this square, so here's the 6 for that row, and we'll finish here with a 1. What is this 5 doing here? Didn't I say that this was 2, 5? Am I dreaming? Oh, have I messed this up? I'm not sure if I've made a boo-boo a boo -boo here or not. I think I may have done. I, I thought I put that as... That's 2, 5. Have I accidentally put in the wrong number here or something? Or what? Why is there a 5 there? What did I work out before? This is... T oh, 2... F oh, no. 2, 4. Okay. Phew. <laughs> See how terrible my memory is. It's 2, 4. It is right because we had 2, 4 up there. Oh, my God. I was panicking there. I thought I was going to have to start again. Uh, 5, 6, 8, I think here... I don't know which is which. Uh, one, three, seven, three, seven. Still don't know which is which. 
Um, we have nine as a completed digit. I think I'm going to go through the numbers now, rotation, rotating, just to see if anything pops into mind. six down there there's our six there's our one one blocking this square and this one taking care of those two squares so here's our one six blocks this square six blocks this square so here's the six and we're left with three and four. Obviously, the four blocks there, so that's going to be the four. That will be the three. Three up here, up there. And there's a three. One blocking up here. And there's a one. Seven there. Seven to finish this column. Seven across, seven up. I think the game is finished, don't you? Uh, what are we looking for here? Two, three, three blocking down there. There's the three, there's the two. Two across here, two up there. There goes two, two down to the bottom here. There's two, this is four. Uh, four blocking up here for a four in that square. This is two, two, excuse me. Um, yeah, we're almost done. What's the missing number here? Is it an eight? I believe it to be an eight. Eight across here will give us eight in that square eight down here eight across almost forgotten about the bottom section down here it's been such a while uh, what do we need here that's a three I think three up three down and there goes a three four blocking here so there's the four the last number here uh, six six blocking across here there's the six this is a one um, right one more number up there uh, it's, no it's not seven is it eight I think it is eight okay so we only have two numbers left here I know this was oh well, this was two four wasn't it four blocking there there's the four there's the two because I did that one not long ago two blocking down there's the two there's the five five up to the top there's our five and finishing the game a delicious six that's it for the uh, Guardian's expert level puzzle of the week. We only have one from them per week. Uh, so we'll wait until next Saturday to see another one, see if it holds up its power compared to the New York Times. Not really, I think. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.